calling all makers. Whether you're a candle maker, a soap maker, any type of maker, <laughs> I know you have samples lying around everywhere. And I'm gonna show you some quick and easy products that you can make right now. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Carrie, owner and maker of Couture Home and Body. Welcome back, I'm so glad you're here. All right, everybody, let's get into it. The you can make a homemade room and linen spray. You don't have to buy a base from a manufacturer that could be very expensive. All you need are a few simple ingredients. Grab yourself some unscented witch hazel. I personally like Thayer's, but you can use any witch hazel that you like. Next, you're gonna grab an essential or a fragrance oil or a blend of two if you're fancy. And the last thing you'll need is a spray bottle. You can use one that you buy at Target or like the dollar store or something, or if you already have a room spray that you purchased, just reuse that bottle. So I'm gonna give you a really quick recipe for a two ounce bottle. You're gonna put two milliliters of fragrance and essential oil in here. If you're using a mix of both, just make sure you measure out the essential oil and don't just use like 10 drops or something. Make sure you're measuring it. The next thing you're going to do is add one ounce of witch hazel to your bottle and then top off the rest with distilled water. Give that baby a shake. And then you have the perfect room and linen spray. That witch hazel is gonna help hold the fragrance and keep it in the air. Oh my gosh, delish. So this recipe is perfect no matter what your bottle size is to scale up or down. If you have a four ounce bottle, use two ounces of distilled water and two ounces of witch hazel. All right, another easy and quick way to use up those fragrance samples is to make wax melts. This is a great opportunity to test out maybe some fragrances that you don't think you'll use, but you wanna infuse some freshness into a seasonal line, spring, summer, fall, winter. Throw them in some wax melts, put a special label on them, and sell them online or at your next market. For example, you could do a chocolate covered strawberries for Valentine's Day. You could even take advantage of the July 4th holiday, maybe make some red, white, and blue melts and use any fragrance that you want. Another product that you can make using up your samples is also limited edition soaps. Melt and pour bases hold fragrance so incredibly well. You could also take advantage of doing a limited, you know, edition, put in your season or holiday occasion here and use up those samples. It would also be a great opportunity to blend a couple together to make a really beautiful, unique scent for your limited edition soap. It's all gonna be limited edition here. <laughs> you could also make some smaller candles. You could make some two or four ounce candles in a limited edition. Maybe put it in a special different colored vessel than what is normally offered in your product line and just wrap it in X special edition for this season or this holiday. I think especially those smaller holidays like Valentine's Day, Eve, I've seen Cinco de Mayo candles. I think that's so cool and very unique. Uh, really, the sky's the limit. All right, another product you can make is a perfume or cologne using your samples, whether it's for yourself or for a gift. I think perfume and colognes are such a great gift, especially when they're handmade, homemade. <laughs> All right, another really quick thing you can make is to throw it into a super fast DIY body scrub. Grab your favorite fine salt or fine sugar, uh, a little bit of coconut oil and your fragrance and you have a really quick DIY body scrub. All right, this is one that didn't make it into my Homesteader series. If you're interested, I'll link it here, is you can use your leftover samples to make a shower steamer. You just need a few ingredients to make your own steamer, and that is baking soda, kaolin clay, your fragrance oil, and some citric acid. All right, this is probably one of my favorite ones. 
If you have a diffuser at home, it's a water-based diffuser, you can add a couple of drops of fragrance oil to your diffuser. I think it is, because it's so easy to do, it's just water and oil, you don't need a lot, and it completely perfumes the air. Just make sure you check your personal diffuser for fragrance oil usage directions. All right, I hope you found some inspiration with these really quick ideas. You can make any of these today. You can do it right now, especially that room spray and the diffuser. So if you don't already have it, you can get a kit. But these I think are some fantastic ways. These are also great projects to do with your kids, your nieces, your nephews, uh, really fun projects that just get them involved and see where their creativity takes them in terms of fragrances that they choose or maybe blends that. Um, you all want to make. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, please consider subscribing and giving this video a big old thumbs up. A thing that really does help me out is if you continue on and watch another video. I so appreciate you being here and spending your time with me. So until the next one, I'll see you then. Bye!